you have to appear in court, okay? This is an ongoing problem in here. You guys come over. When you know you can dump it for free at Southfield Yard. You guys live here. How long have you lived in the city of Detroit? 40 years. So as a grown man, you should know better to dump garbage on a public roadway. I mean, it's just ridiculous. It's, it's, it's inconsiderate. It's messing up the city. But everybody's trying to clean up around here. It's not, it's not, uh, not going to happen. So the vehicle's going to be impounded. Uh, you guys are going to be released from the ticket, okay? Um, they're going to be contacting you uh, regarding the vehicle, okay? So I need you I need you to clean all this stuff up, put it back in the truck, in the trailer, and uh, you guys are free to go. This is what happens when you dump in the city of Detroit and you get caught. So sick of you dumping in the D. And I'll tell you what, I'm coming to your door. Uh, we just got a call out about a dumper and uh, police happen to be driving right by and uh, catch these fuckers right in the act. I love this. We finally caught him. We just got a call from the okay. from the neighbors, and one of the officers happened to be driving by. We caught him. I'm sorry? There's some of these here.
that day for these guys. Uh, we've actually seen this truck and, and this truck and trailer in here quite a few times. Um, this is the first time we've been able to catch up to them. Uh, they've been actively dumping in our neighborhood for the past couple months. Neighbor saw them this morning on my street. I guess they scared them off and then they decided to come here. Uh, somebody has bought this house and they're fixing it up and they still end up dumping over here. And uh, we're not going to take it anymore. Good work, neighbors. They're the ones who alerted to this, put us out on our group B. And uh, the stars were aligned. That's how he knew. Um, they literally just took off right when you're coming down the road. So. Yeah. yeah. The neighbors alerted us to what was going on. Okay. Oh, that was awesome. Spot on this morning, brother. Yeah, I'll, I'll come over here. You know, I had a feeling I was going to run into somebody like this this morning. I, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but he's going to clean it up. I got a tow truck. I called Sergeant Moran from the from uh, all that. He's going. They're going to send. Uh, they're going to. The truck, he's not going to get it back. All right. Um, what about the stuff over there? How much stuff was dumped over I, there? I don't know. I'll go take a video of it. and take, I'll send you pictures. Yeah. Take pictures of this, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I just did. Uh, right. everything. It's, it's, it's plates, everything. Okay. I got all that. Yeah, I did. Uh, but, uh, yeah, take pictures. Been in here. He's been in here for the last few months coming in here dumping. I haven't been able to catch up to him. I've seen him going through with an empty trailer and shit. Okay. I know he's been living with him. King 7th Ward. That's a number two. The second three scene. <laughs> And I told them, I said, why are you dumping here when you can dump for free in Detroit? Yeah. They, they have to allow guys to dump in there. Right. Before or minimal. Or minimal if it's construction materials. It's, um, I think it's like 30 bucks for what he's got there. It's not even that. Yeah. <laughs> I know Southfield won't pay. Southfield but won't see, pay. that's bullshit. I, 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 yeah. I mean, They'll take household, but they won't take any construction materials. But it, it, it does, I, and I can understand these companies doing, but if you live in the city, you should build it. You wouldn't have 90% of the problems you had. Oh, I know. I know. <laughs> awesome. I'm glad you made them pick it up, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm going to have to watch else has to
police made these two clowns pick up their mess. No dumping in the day. What's that? A little bit more, sir. There's uh, pieces right over here. I'm the one who usually has to clean all this up. I'll get you out of your way to keep your face off my camera if that's what you like. Is it a good lesson to learn? Uh, Is it a good lesson to learn? You know, I have thousands of volunteers that come in here on, on a yearly basis to clean this stuff up, man. Somebody just bought this house. Yeah. Somebody just bought this house and cleaned it all up, and you guys just dumped on it again. No, no, we just need that Wait, I, I know. You just, and I've seen you guys do it over on Grayfield. Yeah. I've seen your guys in here before. Yeah, he, he just happened to be here normally. You know how it goes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what do you say to people out there doing what you guys did today? Just don't do it? Yeah. I wish you guys well, that's for sure, but this is the, 
you know, it would cost you guys like 30 bucks for that trailer if you guys took it to, you know where Fonz is, right? Six mile? Six mile Fonz? They'll take it. They'll take that all day long for 30 bucks, that trailer. Yeah. Are you guys working for a, what company? Are you guys just working for a, a, an investor? Or? Okay. And the, they're, they're definitely paying you guys to, to dump this off in the right spot, or? Or are they cheap, just cheap bastards? Yeah, there's a, your time schedule is screwed up now, right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Well, I hope you guys learned a lesson here, because uh, oh, yeah. uh, we, we battle it. I, we battle it. We live here and we, we battle this on a daily basis, so. Yeah. Mr. Goodwin. Mr. Goodwin, you guys are free to go. You guys can roll. Thanks. Your vehicle, your, Thanks your for vehicle is going to be bounded. You guys can start going. Oh. Okay. Thanks All for right, cleaning. Start walking that way. Have to pick you up around the corner or something. Thanks for cleaning it up, guys. No dumping in the D. <laughs> I was like, so was that a good lesson to learn? He goes, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> You know, because what they do now is they forfeit the vehicles. They mm -hmm. take them under forfeiture law now. Right. So, you know, it's, it's, you know, it's a teaching a lesson, you know? Right. You see anything, you see anything negative to you? Just now. See you later, boss. They all know where I live. So. Fuck them. Yeah. Buddy. Yeah. <laughs> the walk of shame. <laughs> oh, look, it's half of this shit scrappable. Look at that stuff. I mean, all of this stuff is scrappable. I got copper. Well, they're doing, it looks like they're doing a remodel of a bathroom or something. Yeah, let me see if I can find an address in this bat, in this stuff. That would help me tremendously. <laughs> Nice. Hey, you think you can put that on a dolly? That way you don't have to take two trucks? I don't got no, I don't think I got no so ball for the trailer. Yeah, uh, I mean, if you put the truck on a dolly, you could pull the whole system, couldn't you? Yeah, but no, the bottom of be the 
Where the trailer hooks up at, it'll be dragging. Okay. You guys want to call your another truck out? Because I got a trailer on time at that stand. I got a case. Man, that's a nice truck. <laughs> that thing's badass. <laughs> They're making good money, aren't they? This is what happens when you dump in the city of Detroit and you get caught.